guys, it's Nikki. Welcome back to my channel. I just wanted to come on and show you a couple things that I have been doing with my um, nbeads.com order. <laughs> so here's a couple of the items that I'm working with right now. Um, the first one is this butterfly. It is an embellishment box or a bead holder, it's called on the website. And I will link all of these down below if you guys are interested in taking a look at them. But this is such a cute little um, embellishment box. So I'll show you what I did with this. I'm also, <laughs> I used a couple of these teeny tiny butterflies. I wasn't really sure what I was going to do with them um, because they are so tiny. They are so cute, but they added the cutest little final touch on a project that I'll show you. Um, I used one of these uh, beautiful bubblegum beads. Just look at the colors in there, you guys. They're so clear and they just look, they're so cool. Just a light little color to them and um, the way you can see through them, I just love them. So I'll show you what I did with one of those. But the star of the show today is um, this. So these are metal beads or metal charms. They are in the shape of a leaf. And I've been going crazy with these. <laughs> Um, I've used them for um, little leaves added to projects. I haven't actually made one into a charm yet. So I'm going to show you the cool things that I did with these. They just made my projects pop. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to show you this embellishment box that I did with the butterfly. So this is how it turned out. Is that not so cute? Oh my gosh, I am so happy with this. So to do the top, I had a little trick. Um, I'm trying to see, I don't have it on my desk anymore, but I took my paper, I took my butterfly, I just opened it up and I traced the bottom. So I just kind of went in here, traced around here, here, and then I cut it out. Um, I started out tracing the top, but it's a little bit too big. If you trace the bottom, you're gonna get a, a more perfect fit for it. So you're going to see this little hack that I did. So what I did is I traced the bottom. Um, I had to make just a few minor adjustments. I put it on with just using tape runner. Then I took a 220 grit sanding paper and that's what I was looking for on my desk. I had it up here and now it's gone. So I just, a tiny little piece of sanding paper and I went and I sanded the edges. So not only did it give me this really cool finished edge like that, but it also, um, brought the paper down to the exact size of the container. So you can see it just gives it like just that little bit of a um, white edge like that where you sand the color off the paper and I think that looks so neat. Um, so then I did add some paper flowers here in the corner. I wanted to keep it simple because I really wanted the butterfly to be the star of the show, but look at how I added these little uh, metal leaves there. Look at how cute that looks. And it just brings out the gold in the center of the flowers. I just think that is so cute. Um, and then I finished it off because it's got the cool loops on the top. I almost did it like a little tank flip. So I took a ton of my little trims that matched and I went ahead and just tied them up top. And I think it is so cute. So I did make it into a little embellishment box and inside I used just a couple pieces from the Flourish collection um, and I had it open this way. So um, you can see just some stickers from the Flourish collection. Then I just added some cabochons and some um, charms in here that I'm going to share with my partner. So that is the first project. I love how that turned out. I'm so excited to do a totally different kind of look on the second one. So uh, stay tuned and I'll, I'll let you guys know how I end up um, decorating the second one. So the second thing I wanted to show you is I ended up taking one of those um, keychains keychains from Dollar Tree, the little hotel key keychains, and I embellished it with flourish um, as well. And I used one little charm here, one little leaf charm here, and oh, and one here on the um, on the top there. So this is how I use those tiny little butterflies. Look at how cute that is. I just put a little um, clear one up here and then I added a little blue one down here because I thought it pulled in the blue from the um, little butterfly or moth or whatever it is perfectly. So this is paper from Flourish. These are just embellishments from Flourish. This is just a, you know, a little paper flower that I had in my stash. And then this is the leaf. 
So this came with a uh, silver keychain and a little silver, um, uh, not, it wasn't a loop, but it was like a triangle shape. But anyway, I plied that off with just my pliers. I added my own gold loop to it because I wanted to bring in the gold from the leaf. And then I added this little heart keychain that I had in my stash. I had this little um, uh, ball chain in my stash as well. And then I finished it off with just another one of those um, leaves and then just this little floral uh, dangle. So didn't that turn out so cute? I was really happy with that. Um, let's see what else I have here. Okay, so my final one here is this lamp from Dollar Tree. It's the lantern. Um, it looked like this before I started on it. I'd painted both of mine white. Okay, so they were this, this unfinished wood color. I painted them both white. This is two coats of a chalk paint, a white chalk paint, and then I just uh, sanded it with like a the 228 grit again. Um, I'm noticing my light bulb fell out of the bottom of this, so I'm gonna have to find out where it is, but this it came with this and I had it lit up and it was, it's super cute. So I wanted to show you that, but let me see if I can pop this one out. There we go. I'll pop this one out and show you with this one. So anyway, you can see here, I went ahead and I put the um, paper on three sides of it again. I adhered it down with a little bit of the Barely art, Arts glue and um, a tape runner. And then I went ahead and I sanded the edges again. So you can see that I kind of gave it that a rough look right there, kind of a vintage type look. Um, and I did that too, again, just smooth off the edges, kind of give it a finished edge, and then I wanted to make sure that it fit perfectly. So I did that on those three sides. This side I kept plain, but I added the paper flowers here, and again, with these. Doesn't that look so cool? I just love how that looks and how it just plays off the center um, flower here, this flower design. Um, then I added here just two little butterflies. I had one here and one up on top. And look at what I did with that bead. Isn't that cool? So I ended up just taking this and it, it works so well. So let me show you here. I'm going to, let me do the green one. I can always take it off if I want to, but so these bubblegum beads have a bigger center hole. And when you go on their website, you can see what the dimensions of the hole is. But all I did was twist that twine and look at it be or it uh, threads through there perfectly. So then it looks like that. I've got it on there. And then all I did is I just took the top and tied it in a knot. And what you're going to do is you're going to pull up the top while pushing the knot down. And that's going to make the knot um, right on top of the bead. So look how cute that is. And then you can still hang it up because you've still got your loop, but it just adds that little bit of um, color and a little bit of um, different texture to the lantern. So I love how that turned out. I just think it's so whimsical. And um, I'm going to turn this on. Let's see how you do it. Here we go. And it's just so cute how it lights up like that. I cannot wait to gift this. I think it's going to look so cute sitting on like a, a craft room shelf. Um, so I'm going to do this one next and we'll see how that turns out. But I love how this turns out. Um, I just think it's it's super cute. And I just love this paper that I chose to put on there. It's the perfect paper from the collection, I think. So that is just how I'm using some of my products um, from nbeads.com. Like I said, I will give them a uh, link down below if you're interested in any of these items. If you have any questions about them, give me a, uh, a message down below and I'll make sure I answer you. Otherwise, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks, guys. Bye.